to go reeling through the greatest television shows of all time on Couch Potatoes. And now, here's the host of Couch Potatoes, it's Mark Sutter! And thank you at home. Welcome to Couch Potatoes, where we focus on the best of television. You never know what show might pop up on our TV set, and it's game show week here on Couch Potatoes. A blink or a nod? Yes, Les. A wink? Which of these hosted a game show called Headline Chasers? You are right. A wink, Wink Martindale. A winker. And we're talking about game show hosts this week, and uh, we're going to be moving on talking about the career of Mr. Wink Martindale. Here. Gee, who could that be? <laughs> Come on in, Wink. It's Wink Martindale, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you like this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is, what, what do you do with this? I just stopped by the drugstore to pick up a couple of items. So, uh, <laughs> I'm known for my teeth. Well, actually, it's more than two. One, two, three, about eight items. Here. Eight yeah. items over there. I've discovered over the years that in order to be a successful game show host, uh -huh. you've got to have a lot of teeth. How many teeth do you have? I think 32. See, i got 247. <laughs> That's why I have worked constantly over the years. If you want to be in this business, Mark, yes, as long sir. as Gene Rayburn or Jim Lang, you have got to have a lot of teeth. I see. You and do have. You have a good smile. I do. As a matter of fact, and, and are there any words that I should remember as, as far as... Uh, two being, words for you. What's that? Tartar control. Tartar, okay. Tartar control. <laughs> remember those two words I'll and you'll always work. Let's move on. We've got to talk about your career and, and game shows, and, and Craig and Robert and Les want to add some points to the board, so yeah. uh, let's carry on here. I once hosted a show <laughs> where one roll of the dice could mean $10,000 for some lucky contestants. Not a lot of crap. <laughs> Name the show. Left. I roll it. That is right. Yeah. Good job. Very good. Fifty okay. rating points. Okay, Robert and Craig, uh, another wing question. Now, for five years, I hosted a show which was similar to Blackjack, but not the kind you hit people over the head with. Lane Stewart was the keeper of the cards. You named the show. Yes, Robert. Car talk? No, that's not it. Can you take it over here, Twilight Zone? Oh, was that show that old? No, Gambit, I remember Gambit. I was Gambit. I was a page on page. Gambit, as a matter of fact. Yes. Were you really? Yes, it goes back that. Yeah, I can't get him out of my life. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and uh, we have control back over here to Filthy Rich, and uh, Craig, it's up to you. All right, Craig, Hollywood Squares was not the original game show to use X's and O's. I hosted a general knowledge game with X's and O's, which also had a dangerous dragon. Uh, I remember what the, was the name of that show, Craig. <laughs> Tic Tac Doe. That's right, Tic Tac Doe. That is the answer. We'll add another 50 Very rating good. points over here to Filthy Rich. They have 625. We have 175 yeah. over here. You're never out of work. This man, he looks so, so silly carrying that thing. Great, if you hold that thing, please. <laughs> that was terrific. Sorry, you have a new show coming on real soon called... Yeah, it's called The Last Word. It'll be on starting this fall. I'm looking forward to that. And you are... I used to listen to you all the time on KMTC Radio here. Uh, you were on. He's a great radio personality. And the thing that I admired so much was the preparation that you would do. You would do all, all these specials on everybody from Johnny Mathis to Elvis to whoever. Yeah. Hours and hours of tape. And a lot of time. It really, really did. And you're back on the air here in, in Los Angeles. Yeah, doing a talk show in the afternoon with a friend of mine named Bill Smith. Mm -hmm. And we call it the Wink and Bill Show. And it's on KABC, 3 to 6 every day. So you've gone all the way from being a rock jock to uh, middle of the road. And now you're doing talk. Which do you like best? Well, I tell you, I like, I always liked playing records because that was so much a part of my life for a lot of years. And it was a lot easier than what I'm doing now because it takes so much preparation. Oh, yeah. But I think because of the fact that it makes you stay on top of what's going on in the world, you got to keep up with the news and everything. It's a good mind exercise. So I think I enjoy doing what I'm doing now. Well, you do it very well. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, Mark. Mark. Yeah. Wait, Martin, you know, we're going to come back with the couch up round right after we do this. Come down and say hello to these guys. With the If you like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more. And check out my Facebook page for other exciting content. You can play free games and win real prizes.